Hello and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Mac Productions. I'm Mohammed and today I will be answering one of the very frequently asked questions in my previous video, which is how do I download the Ethernet drivers or the network drivers without internet connection? To simply answer that question, the only way you can do it is to download the drivers on another computer which has internet access, copy it onto a USB drive and then plug it into your computer and install the Ethernet drivers first. And then once you have the Ethernet or the Wi-Fi drivers installed, you have internet access and you can use that internet access to update all of your other drivers. So before we update our Ethernet driver, we need to know what manufacturer or which driver we need to install for the Ethernet adapter. I will be providing you with three solutions which hopefully will help you to resolve this problem. The first solution is the Wi-Fi USB dongle. If you can borrow a USB dongle from your friend or family, it will help as you'll be able to connect to the internet and download all of your drivers including the internet or the network drivers. So if you can get access to one, use that, it's very convenient. The second solution is to use a third party software. In this example, I'll be using the unknown device identifier. The download links for all of these applications is in the description down below. So feel free to download all of these applications and use them to see whichever one works for you. Let's start with the unknown device identifier. When you open the application, it will analyze all of the devices on your system and it will present to you with a list of all the available devices which are connected to your computer. Now, I've had this computer for a while so I've got quite a lot of them. Here for example is my graphic card. Using the information provided by the application such as the name, I will be able to go onto the internet, type in the name of my graphic card which I found here which is the GeForce GTX 660 and I just have to type in drivers at the end and I should be able to find the drivers to download. Now that's one solution of doing it. Now if you find for example this is my a gigabyte Ethernet adapter and all I have to do is just click on that or I can just copy that name into Google and try and find the driver which will probably help you because you do have the product number right there but you can also just click on this click on drivers find driver and then it will provide you with this URL you can then copy this URL to a notepad file so we can just copy it onto here, save it, save this file onto your USB, go onto the other computer that has internet access, put them on the USB after downloading and you're up and running. So that's one way of doing it. Another thing you can do is to use driver genus. Now if I just go ahead and double click on driver genus, it'll open up and it'll show me all the drivers that are out of date, including my gigabyte adapter, which is the internet adapter. So if I just click scan now, It'll go through all of my drivers and it'll tell me that these, this driver is out of date right here. So here, this is another way you can find the name of your driver. So you can use this name to try and find the model uh, of your internet adapter. So if I can, you, or you can just click fix now, tick that, fix now. And you can just click on it to try and find maybe the file name to use or which version you need to download. This, these are all important information that you can use to try and find the right driver. Another solution is driver booster. So if I go ahead and open that up, you'll see that it will run a scan on my computer and tell me all of the drivers that are up to date or out of date, including my internet adapter. So I can just click on the network adapter and it will give me information about the provider, about the update, about the size of the file. So you can use all of this important information to try and find the right file to download. Obviously it is hard to find the internet drivers if you're not sure what the exact name is but information like this can be very convenient. So that was the second solution. The third solution is to use the manufacturer's website. So if you've bought your laptop or your computer from a manufacturer such as Dell, Toshiba, HP etc. Then what you can do is you can just click on the start button and type in system information. And it will pop up with a system information uh, shortcut right here. So you can just click on that. And once you open it up, you'll see that it will come up with a bunch of information about your computer, including the system manufacturer and the system model, which I showed in my previous video. So you can use both of these information to try and access the manufacturer's website on another computer which has internet access. So you can just go on to Google. You can type in for example Toshiba in, in this case 
and make sure you type in drivers download. This will try and help you to get to the support software support page. And all of the big manufacturers such as you know Dell and um, HP, they all have websites um, with driver support available. So in here, if I type in, for example, satellite, um, I don't know, P50A, I think is a model, yeah. So if I just click on that after finding the correct model, which you'll be able to find using this information here. Obviously, mine is a self-made computer, so I built this computer myself, so none of the hardware will match up and there'll be no manufacturer information here. But if you've bought a computer like that, then you can just use that to download your drivers. Obviously, you can come here on the left-hand side. You'll see the LAN drivers are here, um, the WAN drivers, the Wi-Fi drivers, and you can also choose which operating system you're using to filter the information and try and find the right driver. So, for example, if I click this, you see we've come down using a LAN, Windows 7, 64-bit, and this is the driver that you need. So these are the three methods you can use to try and find the right driver and to download it. You have to keep in mind that the only way of getting the driver to your computer is to use another laptop or a computer to download the driver from the internet, copy it to your USB or your mobile phone, and then paste it into the computer that needs the driver. Update that driver and then once you have internet access, you are free to update and download all of your other drivers.